good morning. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. Again, I have to tell you how beautiful it is outside. As I'm looking outside in my backyard and the trees and the sun coming up through the trees and the moss that's growing. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I wish that, that you could see and experience it. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. You have to be, say to yourself, my gosh, I am really blessed to be able to live one more day with this much beauty. This much beauty makes you get up and you say, my gosh, I've got a lot of energy today. I've got to accomplish a lot. Now, over the last few days, my last few podcasts, I should say, I have been talking about leadership and how we have a lack of leadership in our businesses and in government. We have followers, but we do not have leaders. We have followers that follow whatever the trend is at the moment or whatever the political agenda is at the moment, but they are not leaders in leading their companies, leading their teams, because everybody has gone to a a laziness. Yeah, I'm going to say the word a laziness. They're not willing to do the work they used to do before. They have decided, listen, I got paid by the government. I got this money. I I get to stay at home now. I get to do Zoom calls. I don't really have to dress up. I don't really have to shave. I don't really have to to, uh, interact with anybody all day long. No one knows what I'm doing. I don't have to lead anybody because I'm at home and I'm doing my thing. And a lot of times it's not what the company thing is. It's what their personal thing is. So we we have become lazy in our in, in our work habits. We no longer have this relationship building quality within us as human beings. Instead, we're all in our little bubbles in our own little Zoom rooms, and that's where we want to be because we don't want to have to interact with anybody else. Unfortunately, what the life of 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 human beings is that we are people who want to be with other people. We want to make statements and get ideas and to interchange our ideas and to, and to get motivated by other people. That's what relationships are all about. Unfortunately, we have lost that ability to form relationships. You're no longer in the office. You're no longer around people who are more creative than you. You're no longer having those communications on solving problems. You're no longer doing that. Emails don't do it. Eye-to-eye contact, face-to-face contact solves problems. So our leadership ability is gone. Our training of leaders is gone. Because you're not working with them on an individual basis, face-to-face, in the office every single day, listening to what they're saying, looking at what they're writing, looking at what they're working on, how they're communicating with the clients, you're no longer participating in that. So you're no longer leading. You're just letting the other people do whatever they want. That's not leadership. So we have a problem. The other issue is that I don't see people, now that they are in their little houses, in their little Zoom rooms, they are not reaching out for further information further education. And there are so many good places that they can go on management, on on supervisory, on communication skills, on uh, mediating conflicts within the office. So there are so many places that you can go, especially on LinkedIn. My God, LinkedIn has some really good certificate programs out there that you can get, that you can participate in, that, that you can continue learning every single day. I do at least one a week. Because I always have this desire to learn. Right now, I have to get 25 hours of CPE credit in taxation, tax law. And right after that, I have to get 60 hours to keep my certification in mediation. I have to do it every two years. Taxation, I do it every year. Mediation, I do it every two years. I have to get recertified. I have to go through the whole process all over again. I have to take my 60-hour class. But I do it because I love it. I love the learning process and whatever else I can learn. Every single day, I'm sitting and I have 
emails that come in from certain organizations that teach me. Tax Foundation is a great organization that sends me emails every single day looking at various aspects of tax law around the United States and around the world. So I get a very well-rounded uh, daily learning experience from all these organizations. Mediate.com sends me information every single day of new articles being written on mediation. And it covers from family mediation, business mediation, uh, political mediation, criminal mediation. It covers the whole gambit. So I'm learning every single day. But I'm afraid that what I'm seeing and when I'm talking with people is that they not they are not extending that learning experience to themselves. Now, in the office, certain things are required. If you're here in the office, you got to go to this training, you got to go to that training. You have the um, encouragement within the office to continue learning. If you're not learning, you're not, you're not going to turn yourself into a manager at all. On Zoom meetings, you're not going to turn yourself into a manager. I can't tell if you're a good manager. I don't see how you work with other people. I don't see how you develop relationships within the company and on the external side also. I don't see that. Companies really failed their employees by letting them work from home for so long. We have lost the ability to lead. We have lost the ability to teach people to lead. So if we don't get back into a routine, and listen, routines are so vital within businesses. If you don't see what your employees' routines are, you're not going to be a leader. And if you as an employer can't see what the routine is of your boss, you will never learn to lead. In fact, you may even fail at what you're doing now because you don't have the motivation. You don't have the mentor there working with you. You don't have direction. Zoom rooms are not a place to grow in. They're just not. There's, I have to do mediation on Zoom because I'm doing mediation throughout the United States and in other parts of the world. So for me, Zoom is perfect for my type of work. But there are times where I have to bring people into my office here and we have to have mediations. Sometimes we have to sit across the table from each other and mediate. But I'm not leading anybody. I'm not leading a team. All that I'm doing is ha I have two disputes going on between two different people that I have got to get them to an agreement at some point in time. So there's a little bit of leadership there, but very little. It is guidance is what it is. But I have no employees. So if I have no employees, I'm leading myself. And I have to motivate myself every single day. Every single day I try to learn something new in leadership, in management, in business, in, in accounting, in taxation. Whatever I can get my hands on, I'm, I'm reading it. The biggest, the biggest mistake we ever did was to allow employees to stay at home. Because now they're in that Zoom office, that Zoom bubble, and they can't get out. They don't want to get out. They like just getting up in their pajamas and going into their desk and turning on the computer. They're not shaven. They don't have to be shaven. They don't care about how their appearance is. They don't care about building that relationship with anybody else in the office. They don't care about that anymore. So really what has happened is they don't care about the business because they're living their own little bubble life in Zoom. There's no motivation. Leaders can't see what their, their employees are doing. There has to be structure. Zoom does not, Zoom staying at home does not create a structure. Because as soon as that Zoom meeting goes off, off they go back to bed. I'll get to my emails later. Listen, I have the same problem here. But I have a routine, and I've developed my routine, and I live within that routine every single day. But there are temptations when I said to myself, I'll do it later. Biggest mistake. 
The biggest mistake that we ever did was to allow people to work from home. They have, they have lost the ability to communicate face-to-face. They have lost the ability to build relationships, really good professional relationships with their employee employers, with the employees that work with them, with their team members. They have lost that ability, especially the ability to communicate. Writing an email is not communication. It's a minor part of communication. But it's that face-to-face meeting with people that we have lost in this world and in this nation. Listen, I, I can harp on this all day long. And I know that other people are harping on it also. But it's the truth that I'm trying to tell you that you have got to get back into the office. And if you're an employer, get your employees back into the office. You've got to build a routine within the company so that they know what is expected of them. There's no way that you can do a review of an individual if you don't know and if you can't see and you can't hear and experience what that employee is doing. You just can't. You're not watching them. You're not seeing them. What, maybe one Zoom, five-minute, ten-minute meeting a day and you think that's going to do it? No. I always believe in having a watchful eye over employees because there are some employees that need help. They need a growth structure. You see a potential in them, but if they're off on their own, that potential is washed away. And those of you who have potential, you should be concerned about this. You should be concerned, if I stay at home, how will I grow within my current company, within my current status or position? You've got to think about that. Listen, if you would like to have more access to me, you can go to my website, which is at www.lodge-co.com. Again, that's lodge-co.com. Uh, you can see what I do there. You can you can uh, book a, a 10-minute or a 30-minute uh, conversation with each other. I offer 30-minute free consultations if you need it in business uh, advisory and also in, in, in mediation. It's there. You can do it. Just go to www. No, www.lodge.lodge.co.com. I can. I bet you we can probably do away with the www by now, anyway. Because once you hear that dot com at the end, you know it's a website. I tell you, I, I've had to be very careful about websites like that, especially clients who have sent me in these websites, and I clicked on it, and it was a very bad website i mean it just literally froze up my computer luckily uh, microsoft was able to help me um, get rid of everything i didn't have to pay anything it wasn't one of those scams it was actually microsoft because i pay for microsoft every year security is a big issue even this this morning on instagram i got two i got two uh ims from people who i know on instagram but it wasn't them they were trying to sell me, what do you think, cryptocurrency. It's a scam out there. Stay away from the crypto because they're out there and they disguise them as one of your friends. And you have to look at them very carefully and block them. As soon as they start talking about crypto, block them because it's just a scam. Listen, everybody go out and have a great day. I'm going to play some music here because I think that we need some jazz this morning. God bless everyone. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.